Hey, what's going on guys? Today's tutorial is a pretty quick but important one. We're going to be going over your one-arm kettlebell swing, which is actually very similar to your two-arm kettlebell swing, except for the simple fact that you're just using one arm. Um, but before that, a quick aside note. If you're checking this out and you haven't spent any time on your two-arm kettlebell swings yet, we have an excellent tutorial up in our Hard Style Made Easier playlist you can check out to learn how to do just those. Uh, I would highly recommend starting there as it will be very difficult to master a one-arm swing if you don't first have a good handle on your two-arm swing. As I mentioned, you can find it in the Heart Style Made Easier playlist or post it in the link below. This is also going to be true of all the techniques that follow a single arm swing as many of them build upon your ability to do the previous thing correctly. What I mean by that is that it's probably not a good idea to try for a snatch or a clean if you don't first have a good feel for the single arm swing. But since you're here, I know you'll be doing just that and be responsible. So without further ado, let's tackle our single arm swing. So as I mentioned before, these are really important if you're trying to access higher level kettlebell techniques or complexes. And if you have a pretty good two arm swing, this is now where the real work and or fun begins. As always, your first step is your setup and you set up for your one arm swing almost exactly how you set up for your two arm swing. With one simple distinction, you're only using one hand. How does this work? You're going to get into your hiking position low to the ground and you're going to grab and tilt the bell with your swinging arm. Now the free arm you're going to place on the outside of the handle with an open palm. You're simply placing your non-swinging arm on the kettlebell handle on the outside. No grip, no nothing. The reason for this is to start with an even chest and even shoulders as it is all too common for people to start from a rotated position if they're not mindful of this. This isn't great for your core or for your lower back, so that hand on that side is all about optimizing your setup and good habits. Now, when you hike the bell up to the bottom of your swing with your swinging arm, just like you do with your two-arm swing, you're maintaining that even chest all throughout the motion while removing your non-swinging hand from the bell. But what do you do with that free hand? Well, if it's just hanging there at your side, it's gonna wind up looking kinda silly, so I'd recommend using it to help you with your momentum. As you'll see in this demo video, I throw my arm out to the side at the bottom of my swing and practice my rack position at the top of my swing. Now, what the hell is a rack position, you might be asking. Don't worry, I know I haven't covered it yet, but when we go over the clean, it will all make sense. For now, just know that this is one way to do it while you're getting some movement practice in for something else. Other than that, your one-arm swing is identical to your two-arm swing. The major component to be aware of with your single-arm swing is that with the weight no longer evenly distributed and on one side of the body, there's a greater temptation to rotate through your swings, especially at the bottom. But if you're aware of this and can maintain even and proper form throughout your single-arm swing, you'll be well on your way to mastering this and moving up in weight, volume, and even other techniques. And what I mean by that is that I've known someone that would experience lower back pain with snatches because he was rotating a lot at the bottom of them. And dialing it back and focusing on heavier single arm swings with anti-rotation helped to clean up all of his snatches and eliminate that lower back pain. Okay, and now as a little bonus, let's talk about a little trick to help you optimize your energy and time while you're swinging. What I'm talking about is switching arms while swinging without actually parking the bell back down on the ground. And the best, simplest, and safest way to do this is to switch hands at the top of your swing when the bell is weightless. Any other time is going to put you, your feet, your lower back, and anything else you can think of at risk. But the truth is that this is actually very easy to do, and here's how we're going to do it. Approaching the top of your swing, where you'll be switching hands, guide your free non-swinging hand towards the handle of the bell and let it hover there over your swinging hand until you've reached the peak weightless part of your swing. At this point, let go of the bell with your swinging hand and guide the hovering hand onto the handle while moving the first hand away from the handle. At this point, you can proceed with the rest of the set of your swings. I would recommend practicing with some practice sets switching hand to hand before putting this into your working sets. Uh, but this is actually a very easy technique and I promise you it's much easier than it might seem. Once you've got it, you're never going to question it again. 
And that just about wraps it up. As promised, this was a pretty short one, but make sure you get your practice in with it, as the techniques that come after this depend a lot on having a good handle of what you're doing here. If you're enjoying and getting a lot out of this content, give us a quick subscribe and a smash on that like button, as we'll be looking to bring more and more content like this to you guys on a frequent basis. Also, drop us a comment below and let us know how you're doing with your single arm kettlebell swings, or if you're having any trouble with them and need help. But that said, thank you guys as always for tuning in. Uh, use these techniques responsibly and safely, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy. At this point, let it go of the bell with your swinging hand and move the hovering hand onto the handle while moving the first hand away from the handle, and you can then proceed to swing the new swinging hand. I guess it's a tongue twister. Holy moly. Bro, that was an insane tongue twister. Why did I write it like that?